and got a chance to visit a lot of places and meet a lot of interesting people, uh, go to college for free, all these different things. I'm just, I'm just grateful that uh, I picked up that basketball and realized that it wasn't just a ball, it was an opportunity. Right. You know, an opportunity right. to, to grow and learn and do things for my family that I, I wouldn't have been able to do. Um, you know, and they, they won't tell that part, but it's not just their journey. It's all the people around them. They bring with them Absolutely. things that happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and um, it's crazy. I, I wish Penn was around when I was, you know, young and, and had more funds and resources to do things. <laughs> hey, we all, we all, hey, no, we all wish. <laughs> hey, man, when we get this money, man, we're going we gonna to buy us a whole lot of stuff. Because <laughs> that's, that's where I was. It was, you know, your family members, friends, people come to you with all these different business ideas, and you want to help everybody, yeah, you know? You, you want to help them, but helping is not just giving them money. It's like, you know, Go go learn some more about this business if you want to do it. I'll fund it when the time is right. Right. And then you're a butthole because they really just wanted the money. Yeah. Right. But you wanted them to grow and learn and, and be where you are so we can grow more together. Exactly. And it just didn't work exactly. out. Exactly. You know, from the barbershop to the car wash to the this and to the that. And believe me, I... Anybody want to make an album? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. <laughs> Y'all that happened so early. Out, right? That happened so early. I don't, I don't know. rappers up here. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. But I don't know how these three. We might have a rapper up here somewhere. I don't know. And, and if I was a little bit before, I'd have been behind Too Short. It would have been a whole different thing. <laughs> you know, so, but anyway, yes, I, I am, um, through my years, especially in playing basketball, I've learned so much about business. Um, I can remember my second year of being in the NBA. You know, I go overseas for three years, I come back to the league, I play one year, and then after that summer, um, we start talking about the certification. Right, and, right, right. You know, yeah. uh, being locked out, yep. um, strike, and all of that. And I'll admit, at that time, I didn't read all the literature, so I really didn't understand what it meant, mm -hmm. whose side I was on, what was good, what was bad, what was right, what was right, wrong. Right, right. And uh, so I went back to my locker. I grab all these letters. <laughs> I do all this reading for the next week or so. And then I start realizing this is a business. It's a huge business. Yeah, and today is a multi-billion dollar business. Yeah. So I learned about everything from A to Z. Um, I then gotten, you know, got involved with the Players Association. Well, right. You're the president, though. I was president, the president for two of years. Players Association. Players Association. That's, right. That's, right. that's right. So I really, that's when you really start learning. Where that money, <laughs> yeah, where that money comes from and how it grows. Like, how did such and such get to be a hundred billion dollar you know, guy? Exactly, you know? hundred billion, exactly. right? And the funny part is, these guys, these these owners that own the teams, it's like a, it's like a hobby to them, man. It, yeah. it really is. You know, it's really like they're taking this investment. You know, and, and if you read up on some of the history of guys that own teams, yeah, you know, this this guy bought the team for fifty million. You know, 15, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. well, that team now, you know, is worth a billion dollars. Yeah, so true. that that's what it's about. And and they they've always grumbled about their team not making money that year. Right. But at the end of the day, we we knew the business side on the back end. Well, your team is worth a hundred, two hundred million dollars more than it was two or three years ago. So don't tell me you didn't make money. Right. Right. You know what I mean, right. you made money. It just wasn't right. money you was able right. to take right. out and spend. Right. You know. Yeah. Right. Right. And then the funny, I, I learned so much in those negotiating sessions. If you can imagine this big long table here and on one side it's players and lawyers and all and then you can imagine what's on the other side and there's supposed to be this intimidation factor but at the same time that first year it might was intimidating but that second year or the second time we went in it was like you know what I'm, I'm gonna listen a little bit more than I talk and I'm gonna let them tell on them themselves so as we start asking more questions they start telling us more and more what we wanted to hear. Right. At the end of the day, it was just about let's grow this big pie and just make sure that they are accountable for telling us what's in this pie. Right. Because you know, they were like, oh, we'll give you 75% of this little bitty pie over here. I was like, but dog, the, the money is over here. It's we, over right over we there. Want right? To share in, you know what I mean? <laughs> and we the share TV the big rights. Right. Yeah. 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 Like you were saying, the manufacturing of stuff, like yeah. all that stuff. and Everything that goes into the arena. 
everything that goes on your back. And so your shoes, socks, everything. I, How do we own that? Exactly. Okay. And that's that's where I've been with you. You know, right. when you start talking about owning things and, and the power that we have that we don't know that we have. Right. That that's why I was so intrigued by what you were talking about. And then the other connection I had was all the different people that I know out there who have small businesses that need um, whether it's resources, funding, or whatever. Right, absolutely. And that's the only absolutely. thing that's stopping them. They've done a great job up until this point, but they've maxed out because they don't have the resources and they right. don't have what we have. This is just phenomenal. I, I just can't wait to be sitting up here and we bring all the people who've taken advantage of this situation and now they're multi-million dollars over again and they're ready to pass it down to the next person. Right, that's right. What, that's and we got to talk about how do we get that succession plan right for that business, you know, that's going to pass it on either to a child or a loved one or what have you. But we got to talk about all those type of things. So I, I think that's the music coming on, saying this is a, a break. But we also want to say happy first birthday to KY and hey. 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 Fifteen twenty. Fifteen twenty. KYND presents Rich and Stay Healthy. Be inspired to live your best life. Control your finances. Join the growing number of sponsors that understand the value of connecting to listeners through KYND. The kind of talk that inspires change. Download from Android or Apple device at KYND Radio. KYND is not just talk radio, it's interactive radio. Powered by JStream, the future of broadcast. Listeners now have multiple ways they connect to the conversation. Using a mobile device or computer, they are able to watch their favorite radio talk shows just like a TV program. They can call in during a broadcast. Send instant messages as they listen live or share a broadcast so all their friends can watch live on Facebook. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND Monday from 9 o'clock until 10. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. A lot of people are talking about what's going on in the White House. I say focus on what's going on in your house. We're going to teach you how to begin to overcome your fears, how to identify the goals that you want to achieve and make them happen, and how to begin to get negative, toxic people out of your life. You have something special. You have greatness within you. Listen to me Monday from 9 o'clock until 10 on KYND. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. KYND. It's about connection. It's about community. It's about empowerment. It's about you. The kind of talk that inspires change. Connect now at KYNDRadio.com. Welcome to KYND TV. My name's Lindsay Calzada, and I'm about to show you something crazy. <laughs> no, not that crazy. KYND Radio is bringing you something that's so crazy. It's inspirational. It's educational. It's generational. <laughs> no, not that kind of generation. Our generation. Your generation. KYND Radio is coming to YouTube. Now it's radio, it's TV, and it's your source of information. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So we were having great conversations.
conversations about, you know, the quest and the, and the reach and where we come from and how we get in there and how we help, you know, minority businesses really gain access to capital and, and help them with their back office. So we was just kind of just filling that, that, that thing out. Well, how do we really help a lot of companies that are out here in the, in the marketplace trying to get to the next level who's working for, you know, major corporations? You're like, you know, you guys plan for the Indiana Pacers and you plan for the Titans and you plan for the USA. <laughs> uh, that's right, right? It's yeah, about the USA for you. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're, we're going to take TCU out. We don't yeah. really care about that right there. I'm with USA. Yeah, you USA, right? USA. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Bark. Right. Right. Sound like right. Put your chest out. Uh, huh? I think it's a little bit bigger if you say the USA to the TCU, right? <laughs> Guaranteed. You know, but I mean, you know, coming together with all you fellas and, and Tracy, you know, who's been also a, a good partner traveling around the U.S., seeing all the manufacturing plants that we've never seen before. Things in our backyard. We pull out our driveway, we pull out our driveway in something that somebody made, right? Yes, sir. Oh, well, I think it gets a little bit better than that. The house, somebody made that too. Yeah. Yep. And all the furniture is in your house and your rugs and your carpet and your windows and your lights. Yes. So those are the type of things that we got to really talk about and how we position ourselves to help so many people that are trying to get to the next level to have a great business but just need that back office. But more importantly, a lot of them need that capital. So as we've been talking about PN Global News and what we're doing with PN which is Playbook Investors Network, which we launched in Indiana most recently and we'll be here in Texas, we're trying to educate suppliers on how to truly gain access to capital. And that means we got to do a lot of things like we did on the football field, on the track field, on the basketball court. We got to go back to our X and O's. So we got to help these clients understand now that they got to really get a, a great business plan. Yes. Right? Yes. We got to get, you know, uh, audit financials or we got to get a succession plan or we got to get key man insurance. Those are the type of things that we got to sure up now that we make sure that we get all of our people to the next level as well. I, AD laughing at me about something. I know it's someone's mind. No, Go no, ahead, I just, no. I think the, the one thing that I've learned is as I listen to you talk, um, there's, there's so many things that I sit here and I'm like, yeah, I know what that means. I know what that means. But I really did. Right, right. So, we talked about that too, right? I start stopping you, Sam. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, hold on, wait, wait, yeah. hold on. wait we, a minute. We all wait, wait a minute. AD, <laughs> hey, put the brakes on before. Hey, Rod, hold up, man. But what does that mean? Right, right. You used this You're better term. Than me. What does that mean? So I, I have no problem saying, you know, well, let's, let's explain when you say that back office or whatever is there. Um, it, it may behoove us to say, okay, what we mean by that is all right, the right, saying, right, have right. All your stuff in order, because when you get in front of these big companies, they want to know that if they're doing business with you, you have your stuff in order. So right. If they ask you for financials, if they ask you for projections, if they ask you for, you know, uh, your your profit loss, whatever, you'll be able to spit that out in a heartbeat. And I think I'm dealing with a guy now, um, and that's. That's the situation. He understands the business side somewhat. He can get the job done, but when I ask him about certain things, he can't give it. So I can't help him. Right, and right. So I can't wait, you know, to get him in because he needs to understand as you're growing your business, as you start from here, yes, you got to have something that you're either manufacturing or selling, a service or whatever, but as you're building it up, and you want to grow and you got to get in front of a bank because you need more funding, you got to have all this paperwork in order, taxes, blah, 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 blah. And he had none. none. So I learned Zero. so much going <laughs> in with them. And we called right. you about it, Terry. Right, yeah, we, we did. Terry, right, in Atlanta. Your partner in Atlanta, yes. right. We yes. talked about all that. And yes. it's a lot of things we had to cover to get to that next level. Yes. But as I said, and then even, too, you know, with Darvis and Doc, I mean, no, Doc, I said Darvis and Doc, which is the, the same, same person. person. Doc, you know, <laughs> you all used to the Doc side. Okay. But Doc and Damon, which is DD Connections, when they started to form your company, mm -hmm. you guys were going out to help companies just gain access to capital. Right. You want to talk about little things you guys were doing in the city before we all came together? Yeah. Um, I, I think the biggest thing for us was just letting people know that there's an avenue for you to get access to this stuff. And um, that's kind of why how we created our business. You know, we... we been fortunate enough to meet a lot of great people, yeah. um, people who were um, influential, people who are C-level, and uh, people who make decisions in this world, in the corporate world. And 
being blessed with that platform of playing of athletics, that's what afforded us those opportunities. Right. But in doing so, we created a, and established that network mm -hmm. so that we could go back and help other people who don't have that access. Right. Uh, don't know those people. Don't aren't able to shake those hands. And so um, for us, uh, I think the biggest thing is just letting people know. And that's what I love so much about Penn is just like it, it educates people. Right. Like, people don't understand the resources that are out there and that are available for them to tap into. And I think that that's the greatest thing about our portal is that we're giving that to you. Right, right. Um, Being able to, to help you get right. educated because right. – and this – y'all know it's tough because like AD said sometimes – we hear everything, yeah, but we really don't know the the no, real yeah. answer. It's the I don't know what you just said to me. <laughs> Absolutely, like <laughs> you told me, I need a succession plan. I wrote that on the paper for my daughter. What are you talking about, Ryan? You know, I, <laughs> you know, I have a notebook yeah. of like all the meetings, and yeah. on the side column is all the words I didn't know. Right, just write them right. down we every talk, time. Every time, and we go back to the office to talk about like, what did this mean? Did this mean? Or right, right. Like, when we have our sessions, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't know. So I got to get educated, too. Yeah, I think uh, Tracy was good at that, too. Uh, Tracy would call you back later on that night. Like, okay, man, we talked about this earlier today. Right. You know, especially about that company, Toyota, that's doing Tyron Will Assembly. Oh, by the way, this is a $700 million contract. Right. Now, how we get that right there? What is that, man? <laughs> right. How we get that carpet company putting that carpet in one vehicle that's doing $15 million a year? Right. Right. So those are the type of things that we talk about. We always sharing with each other, but... Now we had to have that voice to teach so many others, you know, across the U.S. Because there's a lot of businesses that's got great businesses but need back office. In order to have that back office, they got to have capital. So now I had to use y'all guys because, you know what, y'all going to open up so many doors to all the investors, all the banks, because they want your money too, by the way. Yeah. Is that not correct? <laughs> <It's> guaranteed. <laughs> right. Yeah. So they're going to talk to you. They're going to. They go and shake hands and get to know and, and ask you about playing football and ask you about being on the, on the stage at the U.S. Olympics and ask you how it is to play in the NBA. That's a good tool to have, you know. It's a good, it's a good segue into to business. You know, everybody can't go out and play ball with you, A.D. You 6'10", you know. They That's can't right. run with Doc. He too fast. <laughs> they can't line up across from Damon. He too fast. Yeah. You know, and they can't mess with me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so... So we gotta we gotta have something that they could resonate with, you know. Absolutely. So it's, it's a lot of times it's, it's the golf, you know, it's the yeah. golf, or it's coming to a, a, a networking session. And we tell a lot of businesses, you gotta network. Yeah, yep. You guys are great guys, first of all and foremost, just great Appreciate dudes it. anyway. Appreciate it. But we know that everybody's not gonna be like us. Mm. Everybody's not gonna want to share information and help you get to the next level. And you guys are already doing this too. And, and it's good to see that we're trying to really give back in a way that some people just don't do it. Yeah, I remember um, being a part of the Players Association. Um, we have all these programs trying to teach players about, you know, uh, one, being responsible with their finances. But the biggest one is after they finish playing, you know, what's the plan? What's the what, plan? What's the plan? Right. What, what are we doing? How are we doing it? Can we help you get there? Because we all realize as you, when you transition out, there's a lot of things that go on, you know, and I really believe that a majority of the problem is not always financial literacy. It's just sometimes uh, not even knowing what to do with it. Like if you if you know enough to just not spend it, to me, you're smart. Right. If right, I know enough right, to just right. keep my money in my pocket and don't spend it stupidly, I, I'm smart, right? Right. But so so many times they get bored or bored. they they get to this place where they feel like I gotta do something, I gotta help my family or I gotta help the community or and a, a lot of the guys that I know that have lost millions of dollars, they didn't lose it doing stupid stuff. Really, it's just the way they went about it. You know, a lot of guys were starting businesses that they didn't quite understand the business. Right, right, They had right. a great heart. Right. But they just didn't understand right. it. Right. And, you know, so we, we talked about we that quite a it. bit, you know, uh, because with you guys, most people, well, most institutions have a fiduciary responsibility of your money, right? But when we don't really know what my agent or what my financial institution just told me about this business I was getting into, mm -hmm. 
because I heard some keywords, I heard some buzzwords I understood, but I really didn't understand why was I putting $10 million in this company? Right. Or why was I putting XYZ dollars into the stock market? Right. And I don't even know where my money's at. I, I've asked a lot of people as, you know, if we scale sometimes and start to have our conversations, where's your wife's 401k or where's your mom's 401k or where's your 401k? You, you got a 401k, where is it? Where's your money being invested to? I don't know. It's kind of interesting, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I think the majority of people know. You don't think the majority? A lot of people don't. Don't know what a 401k is, yeah. right? But we know it's at Fidelity. That's it. If that's just, that's just, <laughs> yeah. that's just one, of the, yeah. that's one of the institutions yeah. that's handling your 401k. Absolutely. But we, we, we got to take back some things we just don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know. And that's why this educational curve is so huge for all of us. You know, to educate others and, and, you know, tag other people to tag other people as we're doing with all the athletes, you know, from the track and field to the NBA to the NFL to the Major League Baseball on to the business world. Right. So we're trying to tag them and make them stewards so we can help them help other people understand how we get to the next level. Because we're going to get there. Yeah, we're going to get there. Yeah, yeah. Now, Mac, we're going to have to keep messing with him, too, because he ain't here today. But he should have been here. Forget the Cleveland. Uh, we get the Cleveland game. It's you over. Know, it's you over. It's done. Yeah, you Hall of Fame and you making commercials and everybody wants you to do something. Right. You gotta get out there and get it. Yeah, nah, Mac doing his thing yeah. out there, but you know, he he's definitely a good steward and, and you know, talking about all the things that we're talking about today. Um, our show will be every Thursday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon on KYND 1520. And that is CST time, meaning Central time. Not East Coast, KD, because you ain't Connecticut all the time on the set also. Y'all do see him on ESPN all the time too, right? <laughs> we got to give the shout-out for him on the ESPN show too. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. To Sugar Land, on the air, everywhere, everywhere, the powerful 1520. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND Monday from 9 o'clock until 10. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. A lot of people are talking about what's going on in the White House. I say focus on what's going on in your house. We're going to teach you how to begin to overcome your fears, how to identify the goals that you want to achieve and make them happen, and how to begin to get negative, toxic people out of your life. You have something special. You have greatness within you. Listen to me Monday from 9 o'clock until 10 on KYND. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. KYND. It's about connection. It's about community. It's about empowerment. It's about you. The kind of talk that inspires change. Connect now at KYNDradio.com. Welcome to KYND TV. My name's Lindsay Calzada, and I'm about to show you something crazy. <laughs> no, not that crazy. KYND Radio is bringing you something that's so crazy. It's inspirational. It's educational. It's generational. <laughs> no, not that kind of generation. Our generation. Your generation. KYND Radio is coming to YouTube. Now it's radio, it's TV, and it's your source of information. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click that subscribe button.
Yo, what up, world? That's right, Carl Mays, King Motivator, KYND 1520. You better keep it locked. I'm telling you, if you want to stay focused, you want to be great, you want to get what you need, I got you. That's right, another day, another chance. Ready to live your best life? Get motivated with powerful programs that help you take control of mind and body. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. KYND 1520 is a powerful 25,000 watt station that covers 175 mile radius of Houston and surrounding areas and can be heard and seen anywhere in the world online through the mobile app powered by JStream. It's not just radio, it's interactive radio. KYND is the kind of talk that inspires change. Learn how to get healthy and stay healthy. Be inspired to live your best life. Control your finances. Join the growing number of sponsors that understand the value of connecting to listeners through KYND. The kind of talk that inspires change. Kyra Hardwick, happy first birthday, 15... D changed. We got two new people here. I thought it was Doc and Darvis. Doc and Darvis and Damon. But somehow or another, we got two new people. But that's a big change, so we like that oh, yeah. change, right? Yeah. So now we got Miss Shauna Jackson. And we got Miss Gwen Mitchell. All righty, all righty. So joining us here now talking about, you know, what we've been talking about on the PN Global News. It's talking about businesses. You know, and Shauna and I have talked a lot about the transition of businesses, and we talked a lot with Gwen as a partner, also as a uh, third eye. And she'll be able to talk about third eye, but it's more process improvement, because we were talking about how a lot of companies are great companies, but they really need that process improvement piece. And Shauna also has been an instrumental in talking about, you know, news and global news for a long time. So the reason we're here is actually because of Shauna J. I don't think you knew that, though, A.D. I didn't know. A.D., I, Tracy I knew about it. it. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Shauna, Shauna's the one that linked us to this wonderful <laughs> KYND on their birthday, 1520. Yeah. That's right. Their birthday today. So, Gwen, we were talking about process improvement. When we go into companies and we look at the back office of a lot of companies that are trying to scale and get to the next level, kind of walk us through that process improvement piece, what people need to understand and why. They need to understand they need process approved to get to the next level. And I'm going to kind of start uh, back to how I kind of got started, which was um, the hero in my life was my father. He had a business, very innovative, and I always wanted him to go on vacation with us, but he could never go because he did not know how to replicate himself. None of us could go on vacation when you're an entrepreneur, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so I would always walk behind him and tell him, you know, I think if you did it like this, you could improve, you know, you could improve this process, right. and document it, and then somebody else can come in and do it other than yourself. And that's one thing that you see when you go into businesses, whether they're big or Fortune 500. They don't necessarily have all the processes in place so that people can come in, pick up a manual, just like McDonald's, and have that consistent quality every time you experience their service. People don't understand that though. Right. That's really, really critical to your business. Right. And the value that if you have your processes documented, what that brings to your business when you get ready to sell the business. Valuation. Mm. That's okay. nice. You know, when you talk about the valuation of a lot of business, a lot of teams, like mm -hmm. you say, some teams weren't profitable at a certain time, right? right? But the evaluation of the company went up because of why going in. No processes. No process, right? And when you put those processes in place, one of the things that it also allows you to do 
is to not only have people do cross training, but you can um, have the opportunity to go in and um, be more innovative. And with everything changing so rapidly now, you know, technology. Social media, out, you know, technology, yeah. so everything. You, so you need to have some structure in place so that you can be flexible and agile and be able to change on a dime. So a lot of times when we were working back in the day, you know, with uh, Toyota and a few other corporations, they would always tell us, you know, hey, Rodney, you guys need to be more innovative. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, more innovative. We're working for you right now, but you need to have something different, just like on the court. Mm -hmm. Somebody on the court needs to be a little bit different from somebody else because of a certain thing you do, whether it be Draymond Green, right. you know, doing what he does. Right. You know, or step doing what he does. Right. So you got to be a little bit different, and you got to be able to kind of change, like you say, on a dime, right? Yes. So you got to have the basics in place, which is your processes. And when you have that in place, then you can go in and say, okay, well, how can I go in and recreate myself? Or how can I stop from being ubernized? You know, somebody coming. I heard that term now, ubernized. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, okay. time out. Time out. Explain it. <laughs> hey, we go back. Oh, yeah. we go back to Let's the... just throw this stuff out there like that. Yeah, you go Ubernize. Just walk so, over it. Yeah, so I'm like, man, what is Ubernize? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like how Uber came in and just changed the market. Okay. You know, they, they changed the taxi business. Right. Uh, you had Airbnb that did the same thing. So if you don't have someone in there that's looking at your processes and seeing how they can destroy them right. and recreate them, okay. if you're not doing it, your competitor or a new competitor is going to come in and ubernize you. Ubernize. <laughs> that is our new term for the day. <laughs> our new term for the day is ubernize. Ubernize. Uh oh, AD's looking it up right now. <laughs> okay, China. So if, if someone in business as a as a CEO, as an entrepreneur, as, as people listening, they're going to take away. Where where can people look at a Rodney or the platform here and say? I would love to have my business on that particular platform. So what you will do is go to www.playbookinvestors with an s network.com. As playbookinvestorsnetwork.com. Yeah, because like Gwen said a lot of businesses that I have here or any of us have here on the platform, they are entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs are always looking to carry their business forward. Mm -hmm. But it's the infrastructure that they don't have. Right. And they, they have the skill set. Many businesses do have the skill set and the talent. And they may even have employees. But I think the infrastructure or business growth is the attribute of what they don't have. Right. Mm -hmm. And, a, and right. an organization like, um, like Penn can actually leverage that to help them leverage that within the components of PIN to move them forward. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to give a shout out to someone wanting to say, I need to get a hold of uh, Mr. Rodney Woods and his you know, wonderful team and, and get plugged in. That is correct. So we're going to do this again. Yeah. <laughs> Go to www.playbookinvestorswithansnetwork.com. Thank you. That's wonderful, Shauna, because yeah. you know that's well needed. Mm -hmm. We need to tell everybody where to go because this show is really created now yeah. to really help businesses. Mm -hmm. we, will, we will on this show break down mm -hmm. every facet of a business mm -hmm. from the beginning to the end to your evaluation to your, to your exit. Mm -hmm. So we'll be breaking this down a lot as we get to the shows uh, every Thursday mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Mm -hmm. we, we have to break this down. Yes. We have to be the voice to the community, to yes. the whole world, to understand how we change the game. Mm -hmm. And that's part of our whole initiative. Mm -hmm. We have to change the game. That's why we have D&D. &D. That's why we have Antonio. That's why we have Tracy and Gwen and mm -hmm. Shauna and Experts. all of our strategic partners. Mm -hmm that do a specific task, whether it be a business plan or just business plan writers mm -hmm. or a succession plan who actually writes succession plans, which is more your insurance or your key man insurance policy providers. Uh, accounting. You know, you have to have an audit of financials. Basically, you have to have audit of financials now on like everything. Everything, right. On everything. Yeah. Can't do anything. And most 80, uh, we would probably have to say 80% of businesses on the ground today really don't have a true audit of financials. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we'll be talking about all that because we have our, okay. our financial yeah. team here talking. There's no sense of me trying to be a subject matter expert yeah. on finance, which I'm not. <laughs> well, the nice, that's the nice thing about the Penn platform, too, is that you're going to have in the portal education where you yes. can go in 24-7. You can get videos and you can get a sample of how to go in and start putting processes in place for yourself, start educating yourself on key man insurance, on audited financials. So you have a, a, something right there. And as an entrepreneur, you know, you have to work during the day, you educate at night. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, see, yeah. we ain't giving y'all some, yeah. yeah. some true testimony. Yeah. Work during the day. <laughs> Yes. And educated. Ed, get educated at night. So no more plan. <laughs> no plan, right? right. Uh, get educated a lot. or educate. 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 Yes. I got it. With yeah, the okay. ED part, part, right? right? Yes. We need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> they said that, you know, you work hard, you play hard, right? Play Go ahead and say that. Go ahead and say that. <laughs> work hard and work harder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go ahead and say that. Uh, do it in the day. Yeah. Get educated at night. Yeah, night. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but, you know, in all seriousness, though, it's, it's, it's really time for us to really change the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, with a lot of subject matter experts that mm -hmm. do these specific tasks to, mm -hmm. to help companies scale to the next level and understand what that back office is. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't think that nobody today is going to give you money just to go out and pay your debt off. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. If you got a business, they're going to give you money to grow that business. Mm -hmm. And they want to return. Mm -hmm. Everybody's looking for a return. Nobody's looking to give you money that you, you know, and, and, and the risk associated with giving you money is like you might not pay me back. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Or this what? money is not coming back to me. Yeah. So I, no matter how we script it, either you ran out on my money. Yes. You didn't pay me back. Yes. You dodged my phone calls. Let's keep going. Uh, you didn't turn my emails. You didn't give them a text back. Please, brother. But you owe me some money. Yeah. Give it back to me. <laughs> right? And the bank gonna keep calling you too. Yes. Right? And then they gonna call all your family. Man. Have you seen Antonio Davis? <laughs> yeah. Where is he? <laughs> Doc, where's Doc at? Is he gonna pay us that million dollars back? Ooh. Right. So And yeah. even worse. Right. If you go in and you invest you invest your own dollars into your business. And if you don't have the right infrastructure in place, you you get a, a big order. And then you implode because you don't have the infrastructure to support and run, and then you've lost your life savings. Oh, here's a good one. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so Toyota's getting ready to give us this big contract, right? But for us, as a minority business, and we know this is yeah. a, a $15 million contract, guess what we're going to say? I can handle it. <laughs> I can handle that. Because yeah, $15 million, mm -hmm. we can go hire everybody. Yeah. But then we didn't hire the right people. That's right. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So now we got some problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that $15 million, now you got a one-off type of deal. Yeah. So now you might lose your business. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's easy. When the, when the economy crashed, you know, years ago, the reason we really decided to build Penn Playbook was because we saw the business going away and they couldn't gain access to mm -hmm. capital. Yeah. You know, we were fortunate enough to have, you know, to, uh, Toyota, and they kept us in the game. Small margins, but we stayed in the game. But we saw everybody else leave, and we couldn't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Now, we thought that that would be, okay, if they leaving, that's both for us. Yeah. Not true, because we didn't do what they did. That's right. So now we said, okay, so how do we change that game? So we started building Penn eight years ago, and now eight and a half years, here we are. Mm -hmm. That's where we are today. The thing that I love about it is, you know, as you talk, um, no matter where you are in business, you can come in. And like you said, move mm -hmm. forward, you know, because yeah. there will be that company that that's on the verge of maybe getting that one big order and they don't have the resources to whatever. So I would say before you, you know, if you take the order, whatever, before you start spending that money or figuring out how to build it, come in, let us walk you through and help ride right. that process yeah. so you can benefit. At the end of the day, it can be a game changer either way. You know what I mean? You could lose it all, but next thing you know, you can sit up here. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and, to, and to that point, okay, we need to take a break. I, I apologize, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to definitely pop on that when we come back from the break. Fifteen twenty. Fifteen twenty.
Yo, what up, world? That's right, Carl Mays, King Motivator, KYND 1520. You better keep it locked. I'm telling you, if you want to stay focused, you want to be great, you want to get what you need, I got you. That's right, another day, another chance. Ready to live your best life? Get motivated with powerful programs that help you take control of mind and body. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. KYND 1520 is a powerful 25,000 watt station that covers 175 mile radius of Houston and surrounding areas and can be heard and seen anywhere in the world online through the mobile app powered by JStream. It's not just radio, it's interactive radio. KYND is the kind of talk that inspires change. Learn how to get healthy and stay healthy. Be inspired to live your best life. Control your finances. Join the growing number of sponsors that understand the value of connecting to listeners through KYND. The kind of talk that inspires change. Download from Android or Apple device at KYND Radio. KYND is not just talk radio, it's interactive radio. Powered by JStream, the future of broadcast. Listeners now have multiple ways they connect to the conversation. Using a mobile device or computer, they are able to watch their favorite radio talk shows just like a TV program. They can call in during a broadcast. Send instant messages as they listen live or share a broadcast so all their friends can watch live on Facebook. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND Monday from 9 o'clock until 10. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. A lot of people are talking about what's going on in the White House. I say focus on what's going on in your house. We're going to teach you how to begin to overcome your fears, how to identify the goals that you want to achieve and make them happen, and how to begin to get next. Into KYND, the kind of talk that inspires change. I would be totally remiss if I didn't talk about my partners, too. Outside of Tracy and, and D&D and Antonio and the ladies, Gwen and Shauna, but also uh, one of our financial guys who's really important to this company, yeah. Jesse McRae, who's not here today, but he'll be here next week and a week after and a week after <laughs> and a week after. <laughs> Jesse McRae, you guys are going to love Jesse on the financial side because Jesse brings that, that financial literacy piece that you really need to understand how we really get on the finance side mm -hmm. you know and then all of our, our, our strategic partners and our, our, also our in-house people with LaRonda Height right. you know who's come from the That's certification right. side because most of us who are minority businesses on the certification side you got to understand that there is a, a designation to your certification if you get certified as a minority business then you're going to have to have a certification to, to to show mm -hmm. that you are 51% owned and operated as a minority business mm -hmm. or a woman-owned business or a government business or LGBTQ business. Mm -hmm. You have to have that certification. So that means something to these major corporations. So we also will be talking about how that works. But Shauna brought up some interesting points. Her yeah. and Gwen, they collaborated. Yeah. They tried to do the D&D &D connection up here. Oh, you know? okay. <laughs> so, and so, go ahead, Shana, with it. And, and two, a, a lot of businesses look for real good quality consultation. And they find consultation, um, let's say, I go to Rodney uh, or Gwen, and I say, you know, I, I have a any kind of firm. I, I sell widgets, mm -hmm. and I really need your support. 
support in how to put it all together, how to create the business to match my skill set. So you, you need three components in business. You need the finance, mm -hmm. you need the skill set, and you need the leadership. You need the management. Without right. those three core components, most businesses will not succeed. Right. And I think with having a skill set has to be matched with someone who is a business expert. Right. And that creates the consultation aspect. Mm -hmm. So when a business comes to you, for example, and says, you know, I'd love for you to consult me and tell me how to put it all together for success, long-term success, put a game plan together. But unfortunately, there are some entrepreneurs that have not had that, that success where they've come across consultants that are not, that are not, uh, you know, that are not savvy mm -hmm. enough to understand what that that client needs, what the industry mm -hmm. is, and how to leverage that. Right. And if you've ever had that, I used to consult, and I've I've run across that. And if you've ever run across that, this team here will come and create, or is here to dispel that. And right. dispelling that for um, consultation. Or you might have had someone before, and, and I'm, I'm Shauna J, and you can call me at any time and say, you know, Shauna J, you said that, yep. Yeah, yeah well, this you're, on your show, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, on the Shauna J show now. Absolutely. Houston Global News. <laughs> all things, all people. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love out the all things, all people. <laughs> but, but, but the team, and, and to Rodney's point, the, the team of experts that's a part of this platform has already met all those needs mm -hmm. for your small business, for your medium-sized business. It doesn't matter the size, but you and, were going and, to And we that. have to kind of change the mindset. Um, you had coaches coming up as an athlete all through your career. Well, as a business, you need to get business coaches, especially for the areas where you don't have the expertise. Correct. And that's the nice thing about Penn. They have vetted strategic partners, coaches, to be able to come in and help you in your areas of weakness. They have a nice assessment that you do upon yes. entering um, the portal. Yep, upon entering the portal, there is assessment done, your self-assessment that mm -hmm. you do coming into the portal. Because you know your business. You should know your business. You should know what you have in your business. So for you to complete that assessment, then we come behind you and follow up with the assessment to make sure. Because if you've been in business, like, say, 10 years, and now you need $2 million or $3 million to scale your business, and, and that money is either going to be used for two things. Okay, human capital, meaning mm -hmm. the people that you need to purchase, yeah. which you need to have yeah. money for, like mm -hmm. John was expounding on, or you got to buy equipment. And even if you buy equipment, you still got to have somebody to do what? Run that equipment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If it breaks down, you got to pay somebody to, to fix that it. equipment. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like changing the game is making it very simplistic today. So we understand what that really means. This capital is for you to, to, pot, to buy people or to purchase equipment. So all of our strategic partners, they all specifically do a certain task. You know, everybody that we vetted out and handpicked over the USA, we've handpicked all these strategic partners to do one thing, but it's also about our growth. What we're trying to do also, because it's not just about us, it's about the growth. How do we grow communities? How do we grow businesses? So every strategic partner that moves into every state with us, they continue to scale and grow. So now we get a chance to hire you and others who are doing specific things. So... Our platform is totally different. It's all about everybody. It's a win for everybody. It's, mm -hmm. in. it's a win for money. Money sitting on the sideline is not making you any money. Mm -hmm. Is that not true? Yes. I think everybody here will agree. Yes. You let your money sit. I think somebody said it earlier. Well, no, AD, I think you said that one. We'll just let it sit for a while. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the bank money and investment capital is not growing if they're not putting it into something. Yeah. And everybody wants return. So we'll be able to do that and minimize a lot of risk. And that's the most, probably the one thing that's really, really prevalent to everybody is the risk. Yes. If you walk into the bank, Shauna, you and, and Gwen, beautiful women, y'all walk in, y'all might get some money, right? <laughs> but they're going to ask you, okay, how you going to pay my money back? Right. And they're going to want to see that business plan. Yeah. You know. Right. Yeah. AD and I, we're going to struggle. <laughs> AD right. might get by. He's 16, so he might get by. They might be afraid. Just give him some money. Okay. We don't know what he's going to do, but we're going to give it to him anyway. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, nobody wants to give you money today mm -hmm. if, they, if you don't know how that money is going to be returned. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem. So your process is 
you know, go back to the process improvement side. You got to make sure you get the right people in your business and make sure there's a plan to return this money. But we minimize that risk. We try to minimize all the risk for any bank or any investor to give us money, knowing that now we have a business, that business is working for a corporation or a tier one supplier, and we're going to break all that down as we get into these mm-hmm. shows because we're going to break down tier ones, corporations, mm-hmm. tier twos. Why do we have a minority inclusion goal at Toyota or Wells Fargo or B of A or Microsoft or Coca-Cola? We could be working for these companies, mm-hmm. but they're also looking for you, too, as a minority business. So a lot of times we just got to make sure we educate the community on what that is because a lot of times when we got – Certified as a business, minority business. I was kind of funny too when I first got certified. Like, man, hold up. You know, I'm I'm from six kids. That my daddy got us all an NAACP card. So I was able to show you I got an NAACP card. I'm already minority. What? <laughs> right? So I'm like, I I have my certification. Do you not see this color this color of my skin? I'm I'm black. Yes, I am. And I'm a minority business. They said, Rodney, that's not it. You have to get certified to show us that you own and operate your business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That somebody's not just giving you this money, you're just doing it for somebody else, yeah. and they're getting the benefits of it. So that they're trying to, you know, bridge that divide, you know, yeah. bring true minority businesses to the table and give you access to their procurement side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's important. Yeah. The other thing, and I, don't, I may be speaking out of turn here. No, no, you're good, man. We ain't going to say so nothing. My, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I keep thinking about is, you know, those young entrepreneurs who have this idea or they have something that they are very passionate about, um, I would love for us to consider, you know, if they call, um, helping them put together that business plan or at least giving them that start. Mm-hmm. You know, when I think about um, kids who go to school, say, for, uh, to be dentists or lawyers or whatever, they have this skill set and they're ready to go. But then how do they make money? How do they scale their business? What are the right things to do? Do I just go get an office and, and get a phone and say, hey, I'm here, I'm ready to take your case? Right. Or is there a way to, you know, to, to yeah. process that? Yeah, and, and, that's, and that's on point too, mm-hmm. A.D., because there, we yeah. did think about all of that while we was building PAN. We knew that we had to start with the community that already had business. Yeah. But we know uh, us who have yeah, kids business. and yeah. have yeah. kids <laughs> we knew from our friends, our peers, our families growing up. Yeah. This is an yeah. entrepreneur society, first it of is, all. Yeah. Everybody's not going to go work for a major corporation and stay 20, 30 years and get that watch. Right. Yeah, <laughs> not anymore. Oh, I, hope I, ain't, I hope I ain't offending no corporation who's giving watches out. That's it, right? But, I, I mean, everybody's not going to go to a major corporation and work 20, 30 years and retire and, and, and be good. Mm-hmm. I think we got parents who retired now. They're working at Wendy's or McDonald's, and they already retired. Yeah. So we knew that we had to create that entrepreneurship and that startup phase. So that's part of our initiative is to help startup companies, you know, uh, help these kids understand how do they get in the game and not fail. Mm-hmm. You know, not make the mistakes that some of us have made as entrepreneurs and trying to get into our own business. And the landscape is actually changing uh, with robotics and all different technology entering the market. Right. You know, there's going to be fewer jobs and more consulting is going to be the way to go in the future. All righty. KYND 1520, PN Global News. Talk that inspires change. The powerful 1520. TV. My name's Lindsay Calzada, and I'm about to show you something crazy. No, not that crazy. KYND Radio is bringing you something that's so crazy. It's inspirational. It's educational. It's generational. No, not that kind of generation. Our generation. Your generation. KYND Radio is coming to YouTube. Now it's radio, it's TV, and it's your source of information. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click that subscribe button.
Yo, what up, world? That's right, Carl Mays, King Motivator, KYND 1520. You better keep it locked. I'm telling you, if you want to stay focused, you want to be great, you want to get what you need, I got you. That's right, another day, another chance. Ready to live your best life? Get motivated with powerful programs that help you take control of mind and body. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. KYND 1520 is a powerful 25,000 watt station that covers 175 mile radius of Houston and surrounding areas and can be heard and seen anywhere in the world online through the mobile app powered by JStream. It's not just radio, it's interactive radio. KYND is the kind of talk that inspires change. Learn how to get healthy and stay healthy. Be inspired to live your best life. Control your finances. Join the growing number of sponsors that understand the value of connecting to listeners through KYND. The kind of talk that inspires change. Also remember, go out and view www.playbookinvestorsnetwork.com. Playbook Investors with Network. An S. Yes, right. Playbook Investors with an you, S. Bro. Network.com. Thank you, AD. I got you. So, we were talking. Shana. Um, I, I do, you know, I, I think a lot of people are, and like Val was saying, I mean, I call Valerie Val. Um, I've been knowing Valerie for a little while. The whole entire conceptual, conceptualization about a playbook and the strategy of being on a field. You know, I've got three brothers, and they're all athletes, and I get it. I played basketball in high school, and I love the Uh-oh, Sean, Sean got some hoops in the go. <laughs> we'll go one-on-one. Okay, we'll right. we'll go. Wrong move, but okay. Uh, <laughs> the wrong move. Okay. I don't take these on nobody. Okay. Ask T-Mac, you know. <laughs> uh, neither do I. I'm just kidding. Uh, but but in, in that, that, that creative and that innovative strategy is right on this particular, right on our platform. Right. And that is awesome. It's attractive, it's innovative, it's trendy, it's, the, it's 21st century. Uh, I would love to hear, to have the listeners and viewers understand how that came together, how that comes together, and why it creates so much success on this particular business platform called PIN. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, Shauna, when we had started out initially with Toyota, and as a vendor to Toyota, we were a tier one supplier, which mm-hmm. we report directly to Toyota. So that means Toyota is a tier one, and there's levels, tier ones, tier twos, tier threes. Mm-hmm. But as a tier one to Toyota, they paid us directly. That's, mm-hmm. what, that's kind of when you get into the game yeah. of tier one, tier two. Because mm-hmm. if we hired you as a sub, you would be a tier two to us. Mm-hmm. So we would in turn pay you. Mm-hmm. Then you would hire Gwen. And as you hire Gwen... When would be a tier three to you. Mm-hmm. So it's always layers. You know, it's just like, just like the NBA, track and field, NFL. It's always the top. Mm-hmm. You got somebody at the top. You got somebody below that. And you got somebody below that. And you got the players. And you got the people that's running arenas and stuff. So mm-hmm. it's, it's always layers mm-hmm. in, in the business side. But up on working with Toyota, we had discovered working on the ground, scrubbing all of their suppliers. So what we initially did as, as a B2B firm, we were hired by Toyota to find all of their minority suppliers, not majority suppliers, minority, minority suppliers, mm-hmm. because Toyota had a 10% spend count. And what that meant is Toyota was spending, uh, for instance, $17.5 billion mm-hmm. this year with minority, I mean, with just with vendors, period. Mm-hmm. They spent 10% of that $17.5 billion with minority inclusion. Wow. So we had to go out and find those minority vendors, which end up being about $1.7 billion, if my math is correct, mm-hmm. on 10%, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we would have to go out and scrub the grounds and find that construction company, 
you know, that company that, that do tire wheel assembly or that company that does painting or LED lighting, you know, everything that you can think of that goes into building a plant and building a car, we had to find all that. So at one year, we was building the plant in uh, Tupelo, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. We were down there for like two and a half years, you know, finding vendors because they had to build the plant. So we had to find everything from construction on. Because you have an indirect side in business, you got a direct side. So we had to find those type of businesses. And we had discovered about 678 businesses. Uh, only about out of 678 minority businesses between uh, the whole state of Mississippi and Alabama, because they need to be closer to the plant. Mm -hmm. They, I think Toyota may have hired about 40, mm -hmm. 40 or 50 of those suppliers, mm -hmm. which, you know, got contracted. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we was like, man, you know, this other 600, this other five, whatever, they're not going to get no contract. And they was, you know, they was like trying out, mm -hmm. right? Basically, that's what I we should say. <laughs> hey, we're going to keep it in the basketball there. They were trying out, but yeah. well, they got cut, dog. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, and, and up on seeing them, you know, get cut or mm -hmm. trying to find other opportunities, mm -hmm. it was like, how do we help those? Mm -hmm. So, you know, of course, that's kind of how the idea started. Like, well, how do we help all these suppliers get to the next level? Mm -hmm. Uh, instead of just working with one or two or one or 40 and that kind of stuff. Because once you get the contract, you're done. Mm -hmm. We continue to work for Toyota. Mm -hmm. So now we come to San Antonio, Texas, and build the uh, – anybody got a Tundra truck? So the Tundra truck is built in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of people – and I, I, I challenge everybody, you know, you need to see this type of stuff because mm -hmm. you're driving something, you know, the clothes on your back. Somebody made it. Mm -hmm. The shoes that y'all, oh, y'all ladies looking nice with jewelry on. Somebody made that too, right? <laughs> yep. So everything that you think about that's yeah. made and manufactured, how do we touch it? Mm -hmm. How do we get into that game and help the companies who's in that game mm -hmm. stay in that game and get to the next level and hire people like us, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. So we, we decided that we had to build something mm -hmm. that was going to not, kind of even the plan field a little bit more mm -hmm. because, you, you know, you discover 600-plus suppliers but 30 or 40 got contracts. Mm -hmm. So we want to do something that, how do we get everybody in the ecosystem at one time and all these corporations now can look at all these suppliers. Mm -hmm. So then the ratio came, went from what to what? Oh, my God. So if you just look On a at percentage. What well, a percentage goes up astronomically. But yeah. if you look at a 1,000 businesses that do construction, right, mm -hmm. just, just construction work. Mm -hmm. Now, a thousand construction workers who have a business mm -hmm. has a chance to work with some other companies outside mm -hmm. of the ones they didn't get the contract with. Yeah. They got cut. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you was if you was building Wells Fargo, now you might be able to go do Bank of America, mm -hmm. right? Now mm -hmm. you might be able to go BBVA. Mm -hmm. I think that's the NBA sponsor. We need to get some money, AD. <laughs> 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 you know, or, or you you're talking about you know NFL. You know, look at the arena. That arena is an outstanding arena that. That we have in Jerry's world. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm in Houston, but I'm going to talk about Jerry's world in Dallas. <laughs> Outstanding arena. Somebody built that. As a matter of fact, one of our contracts, construction, another former NBA player who played with you, mm -hmm. AD, uh, Mike Williams. Mm -hmm. Third eye construction. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, not third, I'm thinking about Gwen now, but uh, three eye three construction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike built part of that stadium, mm -hmm. and he's a former NBA player. Wow. You know, and he'll also be on the show at times. We talked yesterday. So, we're going to bring out a lot of stuff because we want everybody to understand that everything that you're sitting on right now, the chairs, somebody made it, mm -hmm. yes. right? Yes. These yes. lights who was burning uh, Damon burning up just up. a while ago. These lights, right? <laughs> These lights that burned up Damon's head just a while ago. He was sweating profusely, right? I had to get him on that one. But somebody made these lights. You know, the floor that right. you're actually sitting on, somebody made this floor and, and the walls and the doors and the knobs when you turn a door, that knob. So we want to educate and turn that brain on. We don't want to be a reality show like Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. No right. disrespect to Mark Cuban and his group, but we want to do the real thing. How do we own this? How do we get in this game? And once we're in this game and if we got a business, how do we stay in the game, mm -hmm. right? How do we gain access to capital? How do we do all those type of things and hire the right people? Mm -hmm. and, and how do we create companies that can go in and create new technology so when we sit here, we're not burning right, up right. and it's still uh, oh, giving cool. the light that we need. Cool light. <laughs> and, and, and I got a, I got some of that. <laughs> so I, I will say this. So Tracy and I, when we first started as partners, uh, Toyota had given us some other opportunities because we were already scrubbing the grounds to find all the vendors. 
So Toyota did, and I, we owe a lot of things to Toyota because they educated me on the, on the process of how, like, went into the process of how it works. And they opened up their doors to us to show all the guys and all these other people who want to get in how it works. So Toyota's yeah. been really, really good to us. But also, just knowing that LED lighting, Toyota gave us an opportunity to create an LED lighting company, which is now big. Yeah. LED lighting? That's everywhere. That's just that's a new wave. Like we gotta stay up, like 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 Sean said, we gotta stay up with 21st century stuff. Mm -hmm. But LED light, new technology, all that's good. So we'll come back to KYD 1520. Rodney Wood. Rodney Kind of radio. I love this station. Both. KYND 1520 is a powerful 25,000 watt station that covers 175 mile radius of Houston and surrounding areas and can be heard and seen anywhere in the world online through the mobile app powered by JStream. It's not just radio, it's interactive radio. KYND is the kind of talk that inspires change. Learn how to get healthy and stay healthy. Be inspired to live your best life. Control your finances. Join the growing number of sponsors that understand the value of connecting to listeners through KYND. The kind of talk that inspires change. Download from Android or Apple device at KYND Radio. KYND is not just talk radio, it's interactive radio. Powered by JStream, the future of broadcast. Listeners now have multiple ways they connect to the conversation. Using a mobile device or computer, they are able to watch their favorite radio talk shows just like a TV program. They can call in during a broadcast. Send instant messages as they listen live or share a broadcast so all their friends can watch live on Facebook. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown and I want to invite you to join me on KYND Monday from 9 o'clock until 10. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. A lot of people are talking about what's going on in the White House. I say Focus on what's going on in your house. We're going to teach you how to begin to overcome your fears, how to identify the goals that you want to achieve and make them happen, and how to begin to get negative, toxic people out of your life. You have something special. You have greatness within you. Listen to me Monday from 9 o'clock until 10 on KYND. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. From South Park to Seti Gas, on the air everywhere, everywhere, the powerful 1520. Welcome back to KYMD 1520, Rockwood and Global News, along with my partner, Shana J. Shana. <laughs> Shana, Shana. Gwen Mitchell. A.D. Antonio <laughs> Davis. I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> and all my partners at D&D, you know, Damon and Doc and Tracy and Jesse and LaRonda, all of our team members. Yeah. You know, we have so much stuff to really be blessed for to be here today. You know, especially thank you so much to KYND, you know, Radio 1520, because, you know, without them, yeah. without them right now, there's no voice for us to even get out to, to the, to the, to the, to communities where we need to be and where we need to be heard. Um, we have so many other integral parts of our team that's, that's not here today, but people, will, all of our team members, this is our team, and other team members will be here every Thursday uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 noon uh, across, you know, and, and pretty much all 50 states. Uh, as we roll out Playbook Investors Network, Playbook Investors with an S, network.com, 
As we roll Playbook out, we're actually launching Playbook now in 11 states. And we will talk about all 11 states that we'll be in because we will cover all 50 states probably by mid next year. I think we should be in all 50 states. Mm -hmm. But covering uh, and talking about what we're doing with Penn, it's the same platform. It's the same things we're talking about now, you know, really from uh, just like X and O's talking about from the beginning to the end. How do you get there? How do you maintain? How do you have better improvement? How do you have growth strategies? How do we hire people from our own backyard, our own families, our own friends? Mm -hmm. I know the AD and D and D and all these guys and Trace and everybody else, including myself. Yeah. We've had all type of family that need money and need jobs, but you know we had to figure out ways. How do we change the game? How do we make this thing right? How do we just not be a one-off type of situation? that's not about ourselves. You know, how do we really just you know you pass that torch on to the next person? You mm -hmm. keep other athletes and other entertainers and other investors. You know, buying other companies that we can out, you know, now own and scale and get to the next level. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, A, I'm going to ask you, uh -oh. how you feeling today, big fella? I'm good. I'm excited, <laughs> man. You know, uh, as, as you talk all the time, I learn more. And I, more I take that about, as a bad thing. You know, no, <laughs> all the time. No, uh, I, I learn more and more about um, what can be done and what we're doing, and it's so much more than just um, growing a business and making money. You know, I think empowering people to grow on their own, teaching them the things that's needed and to see somebody pass it down. I always talk about breaking that cycle. You know, before I came along, um, you know, my mom hadn't had that kind of money. You know, there was yeah. no need to know all this different stuff. You know, she worked one job for 45 years, just retired. And I, I, I love that model that she stuck in there. She raised us and all of that, but I can only imagine if while she was in for that 45 years working for Kaiser, learning some of that process, and when she retired, it was really retiring so that she can really devote the time to her whatever, her company that she spent off from all the stuff that she learned, and I used to tell her that all the time, but you know, we just didn't know. We don't know what we don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think now to empower young people and to empower people with business to always think bigger and think better. Um, we're, we're doing something more than just whatever. We're changing the game as you continue to Absolutely. say. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm so excited about that part alone. So yeah. Changing things around mm -hmm. here. You know? That's awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Gwen, Shana, how you feeling? <laughs> All right. And, and, and to your point, that actually is the slogan. Mm -hmm. that, that is our, our slow game changers. Yes. And when we look at that, it, it is kind of a sports business terminology combined, and I really like that. Um, you know, there are so many more conversations, like you mentioned, Rodney, that, that the team will have on, on inviting new entrepreneurs, inviting Absolutely. people to grow and, yeah. and, and things of that nature. But wonderful platform, wonderful platform to be on. I professionally and personally am honored to be on this team honored. We're honored to have you too, Chef. Yes, you know that. Absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, just in the same vein, I um, have a lot of great nieces and nephews like all of us do, mm -hmm. and I really think that we've got to leave a legacy. We've mm -hmm. got to uh, give them something that they can look forward to. I mean, you can be an athlete, but how many athletes start out and how many really make you know, the yeah. professional league? Right. And um, in business, there's so much more opportunities, and you can be a star, or you can be a celebrity in business, you know. Absolutely. And you can be All a star All these celebrity because, business we see on TV every day, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a star because you're creating jobs for other people. You're so, educating people. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, for us, all of us, it's, it's totally not about just myself. It's about right. all of us. It's about all our team members, all our strategic partners, all the fellows, all the athletic entertainers who are willing to really, you know, listen mm -hmm. and change. Because sometimes it's tough to, to, for somebody to tell you something to do, yeah, you know, when you've right. been doing something uh, a long time the same, same way. way. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it's yeah. really tough. So, I mean, we're very humble about it, but we, we still feel that we can change the game. Yeah. And it's going to take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's, it's changing the investment world. Mm -hmm. Why do investors who have liquidity to their chest want to give us money, you know? So you, you got to change the mindset of that because these are really, really good businesses. Yeah. You know, this could be the next Steve Jobs business or the next 
you know, Microsoft the next Toyota. Mm -hmm. We can create the next, you know, uh, you name it. Uber's. You know, we create mm -hmm. the next. I think AD just had a fan just a minute ago. We said somebody made that, right? <laughs> <laughs> somebody made that. And Oscar Mars talking about the air conditioning. Well, air conditioning is made too, Oscar <laughs> Mars. We just want them to know. But somebody made that. So, you know, it's like we have some, some great abilities to do a lot of things, especially having you know, talent pool of people like D&D and A.D. and Tracy and others and Gwen and Shauna and all of our team members. And when you have subject matter experts who came out of certain situations, whether it be automotive, whether it be engineering, whether it be fire and safety, I think we've, te we know we've touched those type of businesses. Mm -hmm. But when you have companies come out of all of that, now we can scale them in different levels. They can scale in other states. Mm -hmm. Man, you're talking about the job creation. I, I don't know. We, we've, I, I, I probably get in trouble saying this. But we might surpass President 45. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just, I'm just saying. No, I'm, I'm just saying. We might. We easy. might. Easy. Yeah, it would be easy. <laughs> but we got, we, we got a platform. So we don't, we don't want to be on, you know, KYND 1520 with PN Global News just talking. Yeah. We really want to yeah. be substance. We want to we matter. We want to be able to do the right things in the communities. And, and just, you know, I, I know we're about to close, but the information that someone can capitalize on and get a hold of would be the website or an email or phone number. And, you know, would love for you to share uh, to, to people who are listening. And a shout out for you sponsors and supporters right. and everyone who watches KYND. Um, and once again, a happy one year birthday anniversary and birthday to KYND. So you see the happy birthday sign. Happy birthday us. behind us here. Happy uh, birthday. Yeah. We it, would say to happy birthday to yeah, KYND, but uh, I don't know that's if that's going to work. Stick to what but, we um, know, man. Yeah. We love yeah. that skill set yeah. back in the office. Yeah, right, right, right. But then a website that they can, you know, some that are just tuning in would love for you so, to share. So obviously you go to www dot playbook investors with an s network dot com that's www dot playbook investors network dot com you can always reach out to us go to the website call us uh, I know I'm gonna get in trouble with this, but y'all can call Aranda Heights too. You can ask for her, <laughs> oh, or you can ask for Jesse uh, McRae, and you can ask for a whole lot of people. But Loranda is 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 in all his running things and running yeah, everything awesome. around yeah, the country, really right? Yeah. Yeah. She's one of like 20 people, so we need yes. to like yeah. get more capital to have her more her human capital people, yeah. right? She's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. All right, but uh, but uh, like I said, you know, coming through Toyota's you know pipeline and understanding how this works and. Get on the bandwagon to understand finance with another person who helped me on the finance and Kerry Claiborne. I give him shouts out because Alliance Bernstein is an $800 billion firm, and they put me on their back to show me how the finance game works. So I had good teachings. You know, I had teachings from, you know, people from the industry, the automotive industry, you know, Keith Eakins and Adrian Trimble and John, uh, John Munson. They all, you know, a lot of those people, Manella Steven, they helped me understand the game too. So we had a lot of mentorship, and Tracy had a lot of mentorship. You know, AD, we talked about it yeah. quite a while. And yeah. Mac is six, six, eight, six, nine. Yeah. He got on planes and got in a little small cars to go see manufacturing plants. <laughs> He's pretty pissed off with me, but that's okay. Yes, hey. <laughs> we need to go see that, that carpet plant. Yes. We need to go see that steel plant. So yes. Tracy got in the car and did those type of things. So, yes. you know, we're really honored, really blessed, very humble, you know, to be able to do this. And we just want to pass it on. That's what we want to do is pass it on and change the game truthfully. But I want to thank all of you for coming here today. We want to thank yes. KYND 1520, their first year anniversary, and happy birthday to them. Yes. And all the PN Global News followers and Playbook Investors Network followers and all the corporations that we will talk to. Yes. yes. We're going to change the game. Yes. We're going to change the game. Thank you.
The views and opinions expressed on KYND 1520 Talk programs are those of the host, guest, and callers and are not necessarily those of this station, its owners, management, other hosts, or advertisers. Show topics on this station may include conversations on any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practices. KYND, a Synergy Broadcasting Company.